Hi, welcome. And we are on, on Arch. You know that already by the look of it, right? And I've just made a video and I've installed WPS. So this is Arch Linux, but it is it has everything you need to have the rest of Arch Linux. All the repos are available. All the packages are available. It's like over 400 of packages. So, if you want to get, um, well, be a Sherlock Holmes maybe, kind of, right? How did we build everything up? What Lego pieces do we use? Everything online, you can have a look. Everything is online, github.com, Arclix. It's there, what pieces we use. But it's up to you to decide what pieces you take. And that's a fun movie for me. Just having some fun and thinking it through, I want to have XFCE git, our XFCE git. It's now in etc scale, then I remember I don't have the scale command, so I'm gonna install root, root git, get that as well, your XVT will come in. Have to think about eliminating that for now. And then um, let me write that down. All right. And then we need, um, well, basically the file. You know, everything is installed in etc scale. I hope I at least <laughs> mention it once in every video, I think. So bash or C, that's our thing, right? Update up all, there's so many things. There's now tray, tries and skip, yay skip, paru skip, all the keys, the problems we have with keys these days, but we have solutions, no frustrations, solutions is what we need. So that's etc scale, I need to go to my own bash rc, and this is the arch Linux bash rc, beautiful right, but a little bit minimal, control v, save. It's now in here, but it's not yet in there. So source and then bash rc. And then NeoFetch, okay. And then we start being a little Sherlock Holmes. NeoFetch is not there, okay. NeoFetch is now installed. Control T. Now I boot up like this. What oh, is this actually? And actually, kind of look. This is terminal. Terminal look is not that nice. But what if I do a scale, which is now unknown, and an update is right now known, and a poll is not known. Pseudo Python minus s paru now it's known uh, by the way there is paru there is paru bin there is paru git choose lego blocks ah chosen paru by accident no reason for it so maybe you'll like to do this a bit strange but paru paru and then you see the numbers 173, 1731, 173, release 23. So that's a git numbering. Might be exactly the same thing, but you don't know. You have to go to the GitHub. And here is number 22. You see? And 23. So we are having a later version than the one on AOR. That's strange, but it's possible. So we are better equipped, have a better version of ParoGit, a later version, not a better later version and that's cool now it's time to reboot we've done already something uh, boop, 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 shut down no nope. cancel log out reboot log out there he is restart so this is just a fun video how to build up from a basic arch Linux thing there's no nice design this is light DM this is not uh, looking not it's not looking nice but we do have the wallpaper there is a menu up down here the icons are rubbish oh this is already um, nice looking pseudo pacman oh there we go again so the keyboard is not set right so how do we set it then layout generic generic okay um, add B -b 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 Belgian. Okay, that's wrong. 
that was cancel belgian okay this one goes down and goes away okay has there the pseudo pack man what was i thinking i was thinking about arc gtk theme we love the arc theme we don't see it pseudo pacman minus s let's make another promotion for the new icon theme i've made this morning super easy watch the video it's so easy to make your own icon theme and you do it in your dot icons okay now before we reboot let's do an appearance thing so arc dark that's cool and the new guy on the block is surfing papyrus casablanca and that's this look why is the bar so black do i need to log out log in still white i mean okay cooler right cooler nice 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 getting there so as as a novice as as a noob you say oh this is arc Linux, right because it has the appearance of it so i foresee many distros coming springing off from arcalex right every code the code is on there i have already three four five spin-offs based on arcalex so it is a, a deception kind of thing it, it's a design kind of thing right it looks and feels as arcalex but it is very much arch but count them right minus r I have five, six, five packages installed. It looks pretty much Arcalinux and it's just, well, the spices can go. I don't need the spices anymore. It's four packages, four packages that we have. The key ring, yeah, we need the key ring, root, wallpaper, 6FCE. That's it, four packages. And you can keep on having fun because I have to stop sometime, right? They can keep having fun and think, okay, and look and decide and, and, and install. What I would do is install this one. You know that. It's a bit of a, a few packages, yes, but okay. Pamek all gives you an overview with a graphical user interface, I know. You can do it in a terminal, but it's nice. And then we have this little tray down here, repositories, Arcolinks repo, and you see here Alacrity. Files not available, too bad, but you can have a look here and see what's in there. Alacrity, okay. Oh yeah, the design, the theme of, well, I can stay in the GUI, right? Don't need to type pseudo pacman minus S. I can install it like this as well. Remember, etc scale. So type scale later on, and you keep scrolling. I want this, I want that. The arc themes from, from uh, Horst's translated in different color aspects this is bluish thing you have a red thing gray thing orange thing this is blue in the end maybe you would like to configuration of awesome because that's awesome we love maybe our bin get thing it has fun stuff and serious stuff the bin thing where is it now yep you know it it's not on your machine yet control h but if i type a scale this is your xvt there is bin let me do a skull puke puke thingy skull puke right fun right it's there oh and the, and the, that's been a while since i've showed it to people the bonsai tree 
Ooh, okay. <laughs> I thought it was hanging. I guess it's uh, working hard to draw every single time a different tree. I love the little program. And you can keep on doing this, right? Till, till the end of time. But um, I leave you at it. I've given you ideas. That's the point to start learning. It's, it's July, maybe you, you can enjoy also a little break from now and then. And then you decide what shall I do with my spare time? Why not try this? I'm built from Arch Linux, starting with Arch. There's a new ISO, 1st of July. But there's no sound. Eric, there's no sound. How do I do the sound? Well, Arch Wiki Sound. At some point in time, eh, we all need to read it. Whether you like it or not, it's a lost art, but you've got to read it. What do you need? Install Pulse Audio or this or that or this or that or this or that until it works. You need to reboot from time to time, certainly for this one. And there is cups, printers. Oh, I want to I wanna, uh, print. Let's try just typing cups behind the URL. Voila, I've got cups, you can print. And another one, maybe you leave Bluetooth, go read. Tired of reading. Or just one check. All these can be used. And all of these have similar setups, like the same setups. Just compare a few with Melt. And you'll see that sound is the same for everyone, right? Goes without saying. Sound is pulse audio, that one, that one, and all the rest. And then you got sound. All right, I hope I've triggered you in learning more. Okay, cheers.